Welcome to Academy's Australasia Polytechnic. Academy's Australasia Polytechnic, also known as AA Poly for short, is part of the Academy's Australasia Group. The Academy's Australasia Group has various campuses throughout Australia and Singapore. We have campuses in Sydney, Melbourne, Adelaide, Brisbane, the Gold Coast, Perth and Singapore. Our campuses in Melbourne are on Burke Street and Swanson Street, within walking distance. Our campuses have computer labs with printers and broadband internet access and Wi-Fi available. Our campuses also have student lounge, which is equipped with vending machines, computers with internet access, printers, copiers and microwaves. Our campuses also have CCTV cameras for your security. Our website for Academies Australasia Polytechnic looks like this. Please visit our website, make yourself familiar with the information provided there. On our website, you'll find information about your timetables, any forms you might need, the AA Poly emails if you want to contact somebody. You'll find Paradigm Access, which is um, for our student management system. And you can find these details on our website at www.aapoly.edu.au. For more information on University Pathways, please visit our Academies Australasia website at www.academies.edu.au. We also have a Facebook page, the Academies Australasia Polytechnic Facebook page. Please give us a like, follow our page for more information and up-to-date news. The systems we use at AA Poly are Paradigm and the LMS. Paradigm is the student management system. You will use this to enrol in units um, and for your information about your subjects. The learning management system you will access regularly and this is where you will use your platform to access classes, to access information about your assessment, to access online resources from your class, any notes or forums and so on. So you will access the LMS perhaps on a daily basis. You will also receive a student A Poly email as well and this will be in the form of your student number at aapoly.edu.au. This is the the platform for Paradigm and how the homepage looks here. You, you will use your username and password to gain access. And here on this platform, you can enroll in units of study and, and look at your enrollment details. You will have your username and password emailed to you. And for more information, you can refer to the enrollment guide. Similarly, the LMS will use a username and password and this will also be emailed to you and if you do need more information about how to access the LMS, you can refer to the enrolment guide. And lastly, we also have your student email and you will have a, an email set up for you by the school and this will also be sent to you and you will use this for further correspondence with the school and for your studies. Overseas Student Health Insurance Cover. So this covers you from the date of arrival. It covers doctors, hospital, ambulance and prescribed medicines. It is a card. It's a membership card that you can collect from student services. If you have any questions, you can see student services and additionally you can also talk to your agent about your student health care cover or your card.
Student Support Services. If you have any issues in, re in relation to living and studying in Australia, um, you can contact the Student Counselling Service at this website. And for any academic issues, you can contact our student advisor, Iris Lee, and, and, and they will be able to help you further. Administrative matters. If you change any of your personal details, you must inform the college of any changes in the name, address, contact details, emergency contact details, enrollment status or visa status within seven days. It's very important we have your correct details in case we need to contact you. Transcripts and certificates. You are entitled to a transcript and certificate at the completion of your course. It will indicate your level of achievement. You will need a USI to obtain a certificate or qualification. The student handbook provides a robust amount of information of things that you'll need while you're studying your course. If you have any information or if you're not sure about anything, please refer to the student handbook as there is, there is a, there's a plethora of information in there that should be able to help you and if you do have any further questions, you can talk to student services afterwards. The student handbook is available through this link. You can, you can access it online for the most updated version. You will also be given a student information pack um, and this will give you some guided steps um, on how to, how to complete certain things to set yourself up to start studying and, and any additional support that you may need while you are studying as well. So please read through this very carefully and if you do have any questions, please let us know. All students must have a USI once they start studying with us. It's a unique student identifier and it's, it's, it's needed for you to obtain your certificate or qualification once you finish. For more information about the USI, you can refer to the student handbook. You will need to apply for a USI. You can do that by going to www.usi.gov.au. Click on create your USI and follow those instructions. Once you have set up your USI, keep a record of it, write it down somewhere. Then you will need to notify us of what your USI is. So to do that, go to www.aapoly.edu.au slash submit USI and there please click, click here to submit your USI and there you can fill in the details, click done and then your USI registration manual has been included in the orientation pack which will help you to to, to fulfill these steps as well. If you do have any questions about that, please do not hesitate to contact us um, for more information. While you are studying with us, you will have a student ID card and an access card. You must carry your student ID card while on college premises. If you do lose your student ID card, you can you can have it replaced. Uh, a replacement will come with an administrative charge. Copy cards are also available for uh, print credit. So if you wish to, to copy or print information on college copiers, you, you may uh, purchase a copy card and use that for your printing purposes. Important dates for your course. Now please take note of important dates for your course each term. So these dates include the change of course application, the, the, the end date for recognition of prior learning credit transfer application, 
the end date of term, the results published for that term, and the start of the next term for your course. Please make note of these very important dates for your, for your duration of studies. Changing courses. Students wishing to apply to change courses after commencement of their enrollment, you must complete the new application for enrollment form and a statement of purpose outlining the reasons for this change. There is a charge. It's a change of course fee of $100. You can submit the applications to marketing management team by the certain date. And please do this before that because after that date, it becomes very, very difficult to honor that request. Exemptions. If you have completed subjects from another institution or can demonstrate that you have equivalent current competencies, you may apply for recognition of prior learning. This is also called an RPL. Or recognition of current competencies, RCC or, or a credit transfer CT. For more information on this, please refer to the student handbook. And please note there is a deadline. You need to submit these before the deadline to be considered. So what the exemptions do, they may lead to the shortening of a course, but it does not affect the student visa study workload requirement of 20 hours per week. It does not reduce the fees. And for more information about this, you can refer to the student handbook as well. So for training and delivery, you must undertake a full-time study workload of 20 contact hours per week. Your student attendance is recorded for each subject. You must enroll in subjects in Paradigm. Absences must be supported by proper documentation like a medical certificate if you are absent. You are expected to be punctual for lessons. Mobile phones to be switched to silent during classes. And you're expected to submit all assignments on time. And just on assessments, they must be set out in acceptable format. They must be your own work. They must be copied on completion and a copy stored securely, and they must be submitted on time. If you're not sure about this, please check with your trainer or student services if you have any questions. Plagiarism. So we do adhere to plagiarism law, um, and this includes copyright laws, where if you do use somebody else's work, ideas, um, or something from the internet, or another book, or another newspaper article, you need to reference where you have used that information from. Plagiarism will be penalized. So if you are not sure what plagiarism is, please make yourself familiar with what it is. And if you have any questions, please let us know. There is no cheating in exams or copying assessments penalties apply. Failure to attempt an assessment, alternative test or assessment could be arranged for special cases such as illness. If, if this is the case, contact your trainer for a further discussion about that. Reassessments, if you fail an assessment, you may be allowed to reassess that assessment for an additional fee. If you are unhappy with the grade, you must lodge your appeal within two weeks. Course progress. The academic year is divided into two semester with two 10 week terms in each semester. Academic progress is monitored and assessed throughout each unit every term. You must access your results by the beginning of the next term from Paradigm. 
you must complete all subjects according to the duration of your COE. Unsatisfactory course progress. The college must report students who fail to meet the requirements for satisfactory course progress. Warning letters are issued every term. Contact course coordinator if you have any questions. Failure to establish contact may lead to an intention to report notice. You have the right to appeal. An internal appeals form must be submitted within 20 working days of receiving an intention to report notice. For further details, please, re please refer to the student handbook and if you have any questions, please contact us. Deferring or suspending enrollment. The college may allow you to defer or temporarily suspend your studies. This is called a leave of absence for compassionate or compelling circumstances. You do have to apply for a leave of absence and where possible if you could apply two weeks in advance before you need to take the leave of absence, that would be ideal. Just go and see student services and they will be able to assist you in in how to how to apply for a leave of absence as well. Just to note on this, you do need to supply supporting documentation with your application for a leave of absence. Terminating, suspending or cancelling enrolment. The college reserves the right to terminate, suspend or cancel your enrolment for misbehaviour. If your enrolment is terminated, suspended or cancelled by the college, you have 20 working days to access the appeals process. So, complaints and appeals. If you're unhappy about a decision or action taken by the college or a lecturer, your first step is to raise the matter with the lecturer. And if, if you're not satisfied or the matter is more serious, you can fill out a complaint form and submit that to the head of student services. There will be a review after that and you will be notified of the outcome of the appeal in writing within 10 working days. If you feel that the problem cannot be resolved within the college, the head of student services should be informed. You may also appeal to the overseas student ombudsman and for more details on that please refer to your student handbook. Student rights, you have the right to courteous, fair and respectful personal treatment. So confidential treatment of private information is very important. You have the right to advice about complaints and appeals procedures. You have the right to counselling on academic matters by teachers and course coordinators. You have the right to the opportunity to access welfare related support services to assist with issues that may arise during your studies. Your responsibilities as a student. Be aware of safety and emergency procedures and please report any dangerous incidents, accidents or injuries. Please have your valid student ID within the college premises. Treat other students and staff with courtesy and respect. Be punctual and regular in attendance. Comply with assessment procedures. Inform the college of changes to your personal details, emergency contact details, visa or enrollment status. You are required to obtain textbooks or material as required by teachers. Please move quietly between classrooms and corridors and generally on the college premises. Buy a college print card if you wish to copy information on the college copiers. Please pay your fees as required by the college. Enroll scheduled subjects on the student management system paradigm by the second week of term. And you must access regularly the AA Poly student email account. Students are not allowed to smoke in the college building. This includes cigarettes, e-cigarettes, vaping, any kind of cigarettes or smoking is, is prohibited. Taking food or drinks into the classrooms. You're not allowed to harass students or staff, damage or misuse college property. Be under the influence of alcohol or drugs on the college premises. 
use computers or Wi-Fi to send, search or download anything which could offend, embarrass or threaten others. Payment of fees. Fees are payable in advance. The due date is calculated from the course start date. Email reminders are sent to you um, in relation to when your fees are due. Use your student number as a reference for an online transfer. So for example, if you're making a payment online, please use your student number as a reference so that once we receive that payment, we can easily, easily refer to your student number with that payment. <clears throat> Refund policy. Any request for refund must be forwarded to the college email studentrefund at aapoly.edu.au using the credit refund and signed by the student. If the student is going to withdraw from his or her enrolled program, um, you must attain approval first. You must complete and submit the withdrawal of enrollment form along with the credit refund form and any relevant supporting documents along with the form. Refunds will be paid within four weeks of receiving the application directly to the student or to another person who has been authorised by the student in writing. A statement explaining the calculation will be provided other than when a visa is refused before commencement, of course, there is no refund. For more details, please go to that link. And if you do have any more questions, please let us know. Our refund policies, there's no refund after commencement, of course. Another condition is there's no refund for student default. What that means is if you breach your student visa conditions, if you fail to commence the course, if, if you misbehave, if you withdraw from the course after the course commencement date, there are no refunds. For more information, you can refer to the student handbook. Work rights. Uh, students are restricted to 40 hours per fortnight. So you can work 20 hours per week. You are able to work unrestricted during any scheduled course break. As a response to the COVID-19 pandemic, there has been a temporary relaxation of working hours for student visa holders. visa cancellation. The Department of Home Affairs has abolished the automatic and mandatory student visa cancellations. So it's based on a discretionary framework instead. So we will report you to the Department of Home Affairs and they will consider each cases individually. But our reporting process remains the same. So please please follow our attendance and course progress requirements. And if you are not sure what they are, please find out, talk to your trainer, talk to student services so that you know you are, you are behaving within the student visa requirement. Privacy. Academies Australasia Polytechnic acknowledges and respects the privacy of all students. All documentation will be held in confidence and will be stored to ensure privacy. 
how information is collected, how information is kept, and how information is used. A disclosure as well. For details, please refer to the student handbook. As an international student, these are some laws that you should know in Australia. This is the Anti-Discrimination Act, the Sexual Harassment Act, the Copyright Act and the Privacy Act. There is also the International Students Consumer Guide um, and you, you and every person in Australia has the right to be protected from unfair business practices and this is what the guide does. So it resolves disputes between consumer and businesses. So for more information on that, you can go to that website. The safety information for Australia is 000, and that's for fire, police, and ambulance. It's a free call, and it's only for emergency. Please note, fire stairs in Australia is only for emergencies government fines apply for any misuse. Our emergency services also have social media platforms that you can follow or you can visit for more information. Important contact numbers and details, you can, you can have a look on the student handbook for more information and for an emergency contact please contact Sylvia Dobson at her, at her phone number listed. Thank you and all the best in your studies.